Hello, I'm preparing for travel and I'm going to show you things that I'm putting together. I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietor here at Fuzzy Goat in Thomasville, Georgia, and you can see all that we're talking about here at fuzzygoatyarns.com. Make sure my microphone is working. I think it should be there. Okay, perfect. I'm going on vacation next week. It's really like my first one in about 20 years, thanks to our team's encouragement. You know, there's been, lot, there's been lots of trips. Do trips to help my learn more about my business. I uh, take trips to go to market. They never feel like work. They're super fun. I love every second of that. This is a different kind of trip. I'm not taking kids with me. I'm not picking up adult kids. I'm not visiting uh family it's just a vacation with me and mr fuzzy goat and i will talk about my sweater thank you um and so on our anniversary we were talking about where did we really like going um in all our time you know mostly traveling with the kids and maine so we're going to go to maine so i'm so excited i'm going to show you some of the sweaters i'm going to take with me my friend janet at string theory says you know most knitters obsess over their projects and oh yes I have obsessive projects to show you but I was also obsessing over what sweaters I was going to take because you know I'm in South Georgia and I'm going to Maine so I've got great opportunities right to wear things that I don't get to wear all the time around here so I can't wait so let's talk about prepping for travel I'm going to start with uh, this is my carry-on this is the pleister bag and I love, love, love it. I'm disappointed they're not making any more of these. I bought all the ones the makers still had. We still have a few. So um, you can, I like this because it squishes under the seat. It's lightweight. It's a backpack. Um, Mr. Fuzzy Goat is packing up his Ori uh, backpack here. And this is what also um, Melissa likes to carry as well is the Ori uh, backpack. Oh, I didn't bring it over here, but my crossbody is my essential. That's my notion bag, my license, everything, my hand sanitizer, all of that is in there as well. And uh, oh, Robin, you're going to be in Bar Harbor. Yes, we're going to go to Bar Harbor. We're, gonna, we're flying into Portland, going to all the yarn shops that we can find, all of those things. So um, in my backpack, one uh, uh, travel tip that I have for you. I have never had to use it. It's kind of like taking an umbrella, but I have a self-addressed stamped envelope with a piece of cardboard in it in case uh, TSA needs to take my knitting needles. Never had that happen. Um, I haven't flown internationally in a really long time, so I can't speak to that, but uh, domestically, I've not had my needles taken, but in case they do, I've got my self-addressed stamped envelope and I can put my needles in there Hand, I think it's been a little beat up. I might need to put some extra tape on it. <laughs> um, hand it to TSA. Hope they ship them back. Um, so I, that's one of my travel tips. I'll get back to this and talk about the sweaters that I'm bringing because I want to show you more. Oh, my clippa is also essential. Um, we have all of these in a travel collection on our website. This keeps my backpack off the bathroom floor when I'm in the uh airport it keeps it off of all kinds of icky things um, when you're in a restaurant and there's no place to hook your bag on the back of your chair because they're curved which they often are this lets you hook it and you can see that it's holding this and this thing is packed to the gills right now so I just love love my clip all right but let's get to the knitting I am working on my Westbourne I showed you guys that last week and I will have the link up for that. It's coming along nicely. Nicely enough that I feel I may finish it, maybe, not sure. Um, you know, we may be uh, facing a lot, a lot of delays tomorrow, so who knows. Um, so I'm working on my Westbourne, which is West Jack Kid. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm taking a hat that's made out of West Jack Kid. Savannah Sock, and it is um, Trembling Earth along with um, 29 Bridges Silk Surrey. And it's one of the tricks that I have going on for me. I love our Fuzzy Goat Stitch Stoppers. They are super cute. I'm gonna lose that in my little airplane 
seat area, right? They're gonna pop off somewhere. So I like, yes, the project is on the needles and I really like using my um, needle keeper. They often don't know what those needles are. They see this, you know, it, it's um, less threatening than this. So I really like using the needle keeper for that. And this thing's bigger, not gonna get lost in my seat in the same way. I love a good squishy project bag and this Dre bag is just endless, which you can put in there. Um, a Dre is like a group of squirrels. So this is, yes, I'm squirreling away a lot. I also love that there's a zipper on the front. So I have my um, clipper clicker here, my row counter and it's got a, a piece of yarn on it and it is hooked in with one of those uh, light bulb stitch markers there so that it's right there and I don't have to go digging for it every row to find it. So that's another tip. It's like that all the time, not just when I travel. What I also love about this Dre bag is the outside pocket. So I do have my stitch stoppers, but I also keep my awesome tool in there. To pick up those stitches because inevitably I'm gonna drop some and then my new oh let me show you the picture of my sweater oh and then I just I just found out that I was making a mistake so I got I'll talk to you guys about that too so here's my sweater super excited about that I was working on it yesterday in the team meeting and Melissa said oh so you're you should be doing the decreases and I was like oh, I didn't even think about the decreases the shaping but luckily, I was right about in the space that you should do it. Now, I did one set of them, but I didn't realize till now when I'm getting ready to do the second set that I was supposed to decrease on either side of the marker, not just on one side. It's been a week. So, you know, that was up here. I'm not going to go back. That's one stitch that I haven't decreased yet. I think... I'll go ahead and do my decreases the way I'm supposed to now. And then, well, I was gonna say, I'll go ahead and do them the way I'm supposed to now. You're watching my brain work in process. And then um, do that one stitch maybe a few rows later. But actually what I think I'll do is um, the side that I forgot, instead of knitting two together, I'm gonna knit three together. And that way I'll be back on track again. And the decreases should be in here. And Vicki, absolutely I drop stitches. Um, we had our knit lab retreat the other day and I again said I start over every time I have started this sweater over I was a few rows in ripped it out started again I've either started the wrong size uh, forgot to put something in you know I get too busy they were all like you start over I'm like yes I start over that's why I use yarn that you like okay so let me find okay this is my other new secret travel situation. This is my travel notion bag. <laughs> so this dream box, I can uh, settle in my lap and I can put a lot of different little things in here. I have one piece of cord, which I think I'll actually take out and put in my, um, in my bag. But I have a piece of try on tubing because it will be time for me to try that sweater on while I'm traveling. Um, I have another project I'm gonna show you that has cables. So I have my flocks, and look, my flocks fits down in there. I've got a tapestry needle, and it fits in there. And then I've got all my little flower stitch markers. I love using this little thing as a notion bag. Doesn't take up very much space, fits in there. Sounds really pleasing, I can hear where it is. And so that's up my situation for what I'm prepping for my main no pun intended, travel project. Now, I may finish. We're going for 10 days, so decadent. So thankful to my team's encouragement, encouraging me to go, that I decided I better have some other projects ready to go. So I've been swatching this week, figuring out. I've had some patterns that I wanted to use. So I'm going to also bring uh, some yarn. I have to think about how many balls, right? I'm not gonna finish two whole sweaters. Um, I am loving this Terra Nova. Isn't this sweet with the dropped headline and the cable here and up? I just am really excited about that. That is DK. And um, 
I have to think about the needles I need and all of that. And in this project bag, I have another little hack. So where I have another one of those light bulb stitch markers and I have some stitch markers on there. Because inevitably, not only am I gonna drop a stitch, I'm gonna drop an important stitch marker on the flame. And good luck finding that. So this is my way of having some at the ready. So I have started to swatch. The sweater is in the round. I'm swatching in the round, which is always a little messy. But I am loving this twilight color. And Sweet Georgia DK, let me show you some of the other colors we have for that. So you could make that, it's kind of like a fancy sweatshirt. I think that's just gonna be great. And I love this yarn, because look how crisp it is, that little twist. I think that cable's just gonna pop in there. Of course, I was very tempted to make it in this color, but um, we have a lot of samples in the store that are versions of orange, so I actually went for that more purple uh, color, but some of you may like to really like this orange. I was also tempted by this one here, Winter Haven. Oh, and the orange is papaya. I was also tempted by Winter Haven, musky green, amber ale. So if you're like an autumn colorway like me, these are all your shades. This honey gold is perfect as well as this Boreal Forest. Oh, yes, I made the right choice. But then these are also just vibrant and beautiful. So this is, these are gonna be great colors and this would make a really great Terra Nova. Let me show you that project again. See how cute that is? And I have the link for this pattern where the DK yarn is. Okay, so I've got those two. I'm gonna, I got my Westbourne that I have lots of stripes to do and sleeves. So if I finish that, I can work on, or I feel like working on something else, I can work on uh, the Terra Nova, but then I've got one more project just in case. And this is also a great bag, a great squishy bag. Got the markers in there. And I've had this yarn on my desk for quite a bit. And this is um, from our 29 Bridges pop-up is this chevron cloud and it is these oranges so that'll be super happy and i'm saving this page too because this person here i'm trying to find her name so i can tell you stitchy linda had some great modifications for making it a little narrower which is what i'm going to do um, because i don't want it super wide i wanted to wear it more like as a scarf so I think that this is gonna, and I was completely inspired by this photo. So I think that's gonna be really fun. And I've got some combos to show you that if you wanted to make one like that too. Um, here is, so this is a really special yarn. This is um, Pasquale and it is uh, uh, Minata. Spanish word for herd. And it's a rare blend of fibers. It is mohair, silk, merino, and yak. It's really lovely. It's a, there's, on the market right now, there is not a combo that is like that. And Pasquale has very high standards for where they source their wool, so they've made sure that um, it's uh, responsibly uh, certified and that the suppliers use rigorous ethical um, sources and sustaining practices and so it's just really lovely and this curry color would go great in that scarf with that malintosh twist light candle wick like a really happy yellow really like that um if you wanted this is probably my very favorite uh malintosh color it is salt i've used it a couple times and you could hold, or not hold, they're not held together, they're striped. You could do salt with the Manada in natural. That would be really pretty. It's got just these little bits of flex in there. Yes, yes. Um, this, we only have like two or three skeins of this and there won't be any more of it. This is Traveling Yarn, Tweed Me, Traveling Yarn. Sarah's sadly not dyeing yarn anymore. And I thought that would go really nice with uh, Petrol. 
and you could do a striped scarf with that. And then another combo. It was really fun going through this. This one is called Rose, and you could put that with Malintosh Twist Light in Scout. Very soft and lovely. And if you wanted to do something just a little bit more uh, sassy, you could use our um, Sister Anance yarn. This one is OG um, or Original Goat. I love that she named it that. Using uh, uh, interpreting our brand colors and you could hold that with cherry and make a really lovely red scarf with stripes of this soft mohair and stripes of this. It would just be perfect for the upcoming season. Let's talk about what I'm going to take with me. Then I'll talk about my sweater. I had a hard time figuring out what I'm going to take with me. And these things I'm going to show you, I brought them to the shop in my backpack, but I'm actually going to pack them in my suitcase because my project goes in my backpack. Um, okay, so one of the ones I'm really excited about taking is this blanket sweater. Uh, the blanket sweater was finished, I started it years ago, long before I even thought about having a store. I actually called it my movie sweater. I was, we'd go to the independent movie theater every Saturday. I wanted a cozy sweater to wear in the movies and then the movie store, the movie store, the movie theater closed down, got torn down, a Whole Foods got built there, my juice just ran out. Then I saw somebody at market not wearing this sweater, but wearing this color last year, not this year, but last year, and I was like, I have that color. I have this color. I want my sweater. And so Sherry, our fabulous finisher, matched my gauge and everything, finished the sleeves for me, and I have my blanket sweater. It's heavy because it's a uh, it's a heavy worsted and it's really cozy and I think I can layer underneath it. So I'm taking my blanket sweater. I have worn my drawing sweater once in the store and froze everybody else out. So I'm super excited that I could take my drawing sweater and wear that. And it is also a little bit heavy, so it'll be great for layering. Also, and then, oh, and that's right, Renee used to work at Miracle 5. Yes, it was called Miracle 5. So I'm gonna take my drawing sweater, and then last but not least is my Black Thorn. I love this sweater, and I, ink, I even picked stitches up around the neck because it was a little lower than I thought. I, that's also a, a mistake I make a lot. I think I don't want it close to my neck, and then when I'm done, it's too low and so I just go back and fill it in and so I'm taking this sweater also so those are the ones I'm taking still trying to figure out my outer layers and all of that um, and oh the sweater that I'm wearing okay so this do you recognize this this is ranunculus but we had Elaine stripe it oh just love it Janet again my friend it's string theory um, has this yarn also and I'll tell you about it in just a moment and Janet has knit a beautiful one in a solid color. And I, being the um, person that I am, can't settle on just one color. So why not use four? And Elaine used um, one skein each in um, a four colors to make this. Ranunculus. It is a size uh, two, and Elaine knits a little loose. So it's gonna be really great. And Deborah says, it'll be cool enough in Maine for those sweaters. Yes, I can't wait. Um, so this wild Boracera silk, let me get a different one to show you the color sweat here, is from Hand Spun Hope. It's a little bit thick and thin, so you can see it knits up very nice and rustic. And it's gorgeous. It's uh, a raw silk. It's imported into Rwanda in the single ply from Madagascar. And then the Rwandan women uh, ply it and dye it with um, Rwandan plants. So it's just lovely. And we are so happy to support these women. It feels great. The initiatives also teach low impact farming, help save the Madagascar forest. And I just love, this is, I'll confess, this is the third day I've worn this. I will leave this behind so it to be enjoyed in the shop. So I think those are, I'm looking around, those are all the things I wanted to share with you. Um, share your travel tips in the comments if you have some as well. I'll pick up some new ones and everybody else will share some too. I'll make sure the links are up. 
I'll be on my vacation next week. So um, most likely we will not be having a Facebook Live. If I remember that it's Saturday, I will try to jump on for a few minutes and show you where I am and what I'm knitting on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I just can't wait to, uh, to have a little vacation and then I cannot wait to get